What is going on guys and girls? How are you doing today? It's Angry Roleplay here once again. Today I want to talk a little about this Poison Assassin third build character that I started uh, just recently in the Blight League. And uh, first thing that I want to discuss is definitely the toughness of the character. I expected Assassin to be pretty damn squishy, but boy was I surprised by how decently it actually survives shit. I did all the Shaper Guardians and Elder Guardians deathless and I didn't really feel like I was struggling anything, it was kind of naturally just avoiding normal shit and uh, uh, basically just survived just nicely, I mean I've acrobatics, 30% uh, evasion and uh, some 2000 of armor that's all I had and uh, it just does not fine. So elusive buff actually works and uh, I get elusive when you crit and basically this does help for sure and it kind of saves. So assassin uh, is kind of back into a decent state of survival now. Uh, it's not a squishy uh, dying from everything character anymore. Uh, another thing is the poison itself uh, because you know it's a damage over time ailment um, kind of thing. Uh, similar to bleed or just right as fire or ignite or whatever. So basically it's not instant damage and you need to get used to playing it because you hit the shit and it just doesn't die instantly. It needs some time to die and uh, uh, for example it's very different from the glacial cascade or the absolutely insane chaos mancer summoner that I did because uh, when you hit with the mine it literally just fucking die instantly. With this build it doesn't die instantly like sometimes to melt and especially the fat rares and bosses it takes some substantial amount of time to die it's pretty much like essence drain you know if you have played essence drain it's pretty much the same amount of damage so um uh, you need to get used to playing poison and poison stacks in the last two seconds so the more you stack the more uh, damage it does and it expires and you kind of apply a shit ton of poisons on one single character Another thing that I did is I killed uh, all, uh, like I said, all Sheeper and Elder Guardians and I killed Uber Elder as well. Uh, the Uber Elder kill was pretty easy, uh, I didn't fail it, I have uh, two portals left. It definitely was not deathless because I'm still um, experimenting with the build, it's not set in stone. I'm still thinking about what I can use as the chest, as the skills, my like skill jams is level 19 on some of them. Um, as for the skills themselves, um, there were two skills that I'm using is a Cobra Lash and a 5 link and a Blaze Fluor and a 6 link. That's what I wanted to use as a boss killer and it does the job. It's not crazy, uh, it's not a, like a, I don't really scale physical damage here, it's mostly like a thing to literally like help with the bosses since uh, it's not really an insane build but I wanted to make a decent mapper and boss killer at the same time, this is the plan. I didn't want to use Cobra Lash on a 6 link for now, I want to see what it can do on a 5 link and what kind of damage it delivers. And it actually delivers some decent amount of damage. Flight Flurry is just for the bossing, it does help, it's not crazy because I'm not staking Fizz once again, but it does help with the bosses. As for the next skill that I was truly impressed with, it's called the Plug Bearer, and at first I kind of didn't understand why I even need it because you know uh, I know that a lot of people use it for the builds but I thought that it's just not doing justice but boy was I impressed when I actually started failing the blighted maps <clears throat> I realized that I need some kind of a help with density melting this tanky uh, mobs around me and this is where plug barrel does help so what plug barrel does it's a very unique skill actually it's kind of gathers um, some kind of a pool of poison when you hit anything with the poison attacks and once it gathers the, fall, the whole pool of poison you can press plug bearer and start uh, kind of uh, draining this uh, life pool and deals poison damage over time uh, with a 10% uh, max of your uh, gathered poison pool during the 10, 10 seconds. So basically the bigger uh, poison pool you got and uh, the Bigger ply, the bigger stronger plow barrel level you have, the more damage over time you deal. And it works like a poison RF, like poison right as fire, which you can see those like a poison green right as fire around it. This is pretty sick and it does melt shit. So combination of Cobra Lash with the, the plug barrel literally uh, melts the fuck out of everything and it does help so much with the clear speed and all kind of blighted maps and shit. 
it it's not really insane but it surely does help a lot with the clear speed even against bosses because it works like you know uh, around uh, the levels of the essence drain so it's definitely pretty cool overall the build so far uh, is a pretty surprising uh, good experience you know it works exactly like i thought it would be uh, i am slightly uh, de depressed by the damage of the blade flurry because I, th I thought that it will be stronger than that but probably I need to stack uh, maim chest instead of the cherubims to help with that I'm not entirely sure I'm still thinking so the build is still in progress guys but it already works it already killed uber elder on the first attempt so it definitely works already even with this kind of uh, uh, shabby uh, gear and uh, under level skill gems that I have now uh, make sure you guys jump on stream uh, to watch me in action because I'll be further pushing and experimenting with the build. Uh, thanks for watching boys and girls and see you soon.